Are you craving a trip on Space Mountain? Well, we've got the next best thing. Welcome to Disney Coast to Coast. Hey folks, and welcome to Disney Coast to Coast, the ultimate unofficial Disney fan podcast. I'm Jeff Tapali. And I'm Aaron Fairbanks. Hey, Aaron Fairbanks. You ready to have a little mini-sode about Pixar Pier? Wait, what's Pixar Pier? Pixar Pier, if you don't know, is the uh, new Paradise Pier coming to Disney California Adventure in 2018, which we're in now. Jeez Louise, it's already 2018. It's almost here. Yeah. And they haven't even started construction yet. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, maybe they will by now. Um, But yeah, it's it's happening. But it's kind of like a portion of Paradise Pier is being taken over for Pixar Pier. Uh, We've talked about it on a previous episode of Disney Coast to Coast. But I want to talk to you today a little bit of armchair imagineering about what we would do with the rest of Paradise Pier if it were like a Pixar Pier Phase 2. So that involves the attraction, the Silly Symphony Swings, Jumpin' Jellyfish, Goofy Sky School, Golden Zephyr, and Little mermaid so why don't you go through yours real quickly and then i kind of want to do all mine as a group because they kind of work together some of they them. work together some of them yeah okay so let's start with uh, over by the silly symphony swings silly symphony swings so we are already gonna get a inside out themed ride yeah right like before that right before that yeah. so i would want to see a another uh Inside Out ride. Okay. And uh, so you I want an Inside Out neighborhood. An Inside Out neighborhood. Because that's what they're kind they're of doing calling these, Yeah, right? they're doing they're, the neighborhoods. They're neighborhoods. They're not lands. They're Because the whole thing is a land, but it's very confusing. Wow. I'm confused now. <laughs> um, but I would want to see, because uh, we don't know a lot about what the other Inside Out ride is going to be. It's but Flex it, Flyers. Well, it's Flex Flyers, but I mean, as far as the Thematic. theming around. Okay. It. Yeah. Um, but... I get the feeling that it's kind of just generic emotion inside out kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I would want to see one of the like, um, like imagination land or something like one of the, like, I forget what they're called, but like one of the realms of Riley's mind okay. uh, turned into a spinning ride or the, like the swinging ride. Okay. So that's, that's what, that's what I'd want that to be. Okay. Uh, are we doing the boardwalk pizza? If pasta? you'd like to, if you got an idea for that. I mean, I don't have a great idea for it. <laughs> Let's hear it. But I, I love think bad ideas. I would, I would love for that to a be a new meet and greet area for Pixar. Get rid of owls. the food. Well, no, not get rid of the food. You could turn that into ratatouille. Ratatouille. You could. Yeah, and then you could. You obviously we're not going to get the ratatouille ride. Uh, well, you know what. I heard, I heard that they might clear that area and build an attraction there. Really? So hmm. maybe, maybe down the line we could get Chef Remy. You never and know the, uh, the Ratatouille ride, which would I honestly be great because I think that would be a great e-ticket attraction. And uh, it honestly is that an e-ticket. Oh yeah, it's great. Okay. Have you ridden it? No. Oh, then you don't know what you're I've talking about. I've heard not great stuff. Oh, about it's it. awesome. No, it's so the, cool. You're the first person I've heard say that. Well, you have terrible opinions about things, so you're literally the first person I've heard say that. It's not my opinion. Your friends have it's terrible opinions else. about things. You don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, Go to it's the, so much fun. Great. Go to the jumping jellyfish. Jumping jellyfish, clearly Nemo. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Clearly Nemo and friends. And then round it out with the Toy Story ride. We already got a Toy Story ride. Midway Mania. Midway Mania. So yeah. you're going to have a separate Toy Story ride for what? What's it going to replace? Zephyrs. Oh, the Zephyrs is going to be Toy Story? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the, like, how does that work? It'd be the big one. Okay. All right. I'm confused. The big one. In Toy Story. In Toy Story. What's the big one? The big one? I don't know. The big one is the rocket that he, that Sid straps to Buzz's back. Oh, and that's gonna be the, that's actually fun, but I don't like that it's so far from Toy Story. And then all of the all the Zephyrs, all of the rockets could have Buzz's strapped to the bottom of them. All right, what are you gonna go do with Goofy Sky School? Uh, Goofy Sky School. Well, shoot. See, I would want to make more Toy Story stuff, but you're, you're totally I, n- right. This is your. Life. This is yours. I think that's terrible to separate them, but if you want it, you can do it. I think I could do a uh, uh, Slinky Dog. Oh, you want to put the Slinky Dog coat? Well, that's kind of a new coat. 
Cause you're saying I mean, it wouldn't be on the same, same it wouldn't one. be on the same level, but okay. you could do Slinky Dog, or if you want to do something different, you could do the RC car. Oh, that'd be fun. And then you would have like multiple RC cars, and it would be going on like a crazy and uh, roller coaster ride. What about Mermaid? Mermaid Nemo. Nemo. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if I had to. I would theme the area around Jumping Jellyfish as as Nemo. Well, that's exactly I what I did. Oh, is it really? Yeah. And well, let's start back at the Silly Symphony Swings. Okay. Mine's very random. Uh, do you remember a little short called The Blue Umbrella? Yes. Bam. There you go. It's the giant blue umbrella is the swings. <laughs> and that's where we're going with that. Okay. Jumping Jellyfish, Finding Nemo, of course, same as you. Goofy Sky School. Now, now my whole thing is I want to create a Finding Nemo neighborhood. Yeah. Starting at the Jumping Jellyfish, which means for me, Goofy Sky School could become a kind of like a crush EAC coaster. Oh. I think it would be interesting if the, if, the, um, if the vehicle were the, the uh, turtles. And, you know, it's kind of like an EAC thing. So it would be like Crush's Coaster. It's different than that, though, isn't it? Kind of, but I know that there's a Crush's Coaster, but it's not quite the... If they uh, if they did, because it would be different because Crush's Coaster is part dark ride. Yeah. But they could incorporate the... Uh, what's fun about Crush's Coaster, which is the cars rotate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it would be kind of like Primeval World. Oh, good. Which is like like you spin around <laughs> yeah. as you go down. Those things make you ill. I've done those. Ah, it's fun. Uh, uh, now, then there is, that was Goofy Sky School. Then there's the Golden Zephyr. I don't love any of these ideas, but I was really trying to force something into the Nemo theme for this. So there's a few you could go with. You could go with, they, they could become submarines. Why they're flying, I have no idea. <laughs> but they could easily be painted to look like submarines. Um, they could also be Bruce. The shark, uh, like if you look at the shape of the body, it could become a shark. Once again, why they're flying, I have no idea. But I feel like why, there's a lot of stuff in Paradise Pier that's like, why? Um, and then I actually think it would be kind of funny if you did like a Hank the Septopus design where like Hank's body was up at the top and then each of the things hanging down were, um, you know, one of his limbs. I think you're missing like pure gold here. What? For Nemo? Let's hear it. Flying fish. Okay. There we go. Flying fish. Which is kind of like a flying Bruce. It's a flying shark. <laughs> well, but, um, sharks are fish. So. And then for Mermaid, I don't want to get rid of Mermaid. I want to keep Mermaid, but make the entrance to the Mermaid dark ride on the other side of the building. And then the side of the building for Mermaid that faces Par or Pixar Pier will just be sea themed. So the sea theme will tie in with the Mermaid dark ride oh. and tie in with Finding Nemo. And I think that's the way to go about that. That's what I would do. And then, honestly, you, you mentioned the little food area. If you remember a little short called Jerry's Game. Do you remember Jerry's Game? The older yes. man playing chess? I totally think that that could uh, become like a little area dedicated to that. Keep it as like the food and stuff. But if all the tables were like chess boards, I think that would be kind of fun. Uh, or just shorts in general. Yeah. I, I was like actually trying to think. Yeah. I was I kind of wanted to do that I was, as I was looking at the shorts. I was like, because it is very like... In all honesty, if if we did all of this and the only real short representation was the was the blue umbrella, I'd be like, that's random. Yeah. But I do think that like visually could totally tie in. Yeah. So in any case, uh, I think Pixar Pier Phase Two will be coming eventually. Uh, if if any of these ideas come to fruition, you'll know where they hear, heard it first. Credit folks. Jeff Tapali uh, and uh, and yourself as well. Hey. So so there we go. Um, thanks for joining, guys. I do want to remind you, season five of Disney Coast to Coast will be premiering on Wednesday, January 24th. So it's coming up soon. Make sure you tune in then. If you're not subscribed yet, go to DisneyCoastToCoast.com. Go to iTunes. Leave those five-star written reviews. Help other Disney fans find the show before Season 5 premiere starts. And uh, other than that, I think that's going to do it, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Have a magical week, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching Disney Coast to Coast. Have a magical day. Ha <laughs> ha.